Hey people, this is Love You More 555. This is going to be a quick message. It's going to be like quick oracle message today. At least I, I want it to be. I'm going to try to make sure it be. Anywho, um, if you're a returning subscriber, hey you. If you are new here, hey, hey too. This is going to be a general, again, collective oracle message. I'm going to clear the energy card of my potential and we're right into the cards. All right. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is, so shall it be. I wish the same to those who come across my channel with love and light in your heart. Those with malignant energy, shoe fly, shoe fly, don't bother me. You see this dog in the background barking already? A nuisance. Mm, you may have a nuisance in your energy. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, that's on my single bowl, ladies and gents. I don't know that dog in the background throwing me off. It's like, as soon as I start, here they come. It is a neighbor's of mine. It's an older lady, her dog, always barking. And I always say that that dog always crying wolf. And if that dog, like, she really needed that dog to bark, that dog probably wouldn't even bark. Probably wouldn't even cough or sneeze. Like, it, it's weird. But anywho, let's go. Again, um, quick oracle message. Let's see what you can look forward to coming in. So this is the Archangel Oracle deck, and this is the Heal Yourself Oracle deck combined. We're just going to get a free message and see what's going on here. So what you what can collective look forward to in the coming weeks? What can you look forward to in the coming weeks? Let's go. Okay. First thing, God, we have creative writing. Archangel Gabriel, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen Hold on, I would pen an article or a book. So, you know, you may need to start reading a little more. Some of y'all, you could be a writer. You may be experiencing a creative block. The universe is saying in order to remove that block, maybe you need to start journaling more. Like, every little thought you get, write it down because it may turn into, like, a book. You know what I'm saying? You could be a writer. Again, you could be experiencing some type of creative block. That could be a need for you to start journaling. Okay, for some of y'all, we have number three, dreams. I'm going to read this as the three of cups because, you know, you're about to have some type of celebration. Maybe a manifestation is going to come in and make you really happy. You may celebrate with another person. Also, you see this angel laying on this tiger's lap. It's like you're getting your stripes, you're getting your wings. So something's about to make you really happy. Maybe writing a book is going to make you really happy. Maybe you're going to become really successful off a book, okay? Hey, take away a resume. What else? Oh, that's a lot. Thank you. We have half faith. So 22 is a master number. So there's a need for you to have, uh, you know, like keep the faith right now. Don't give up on your hopes. Don't give up on your dreams. Just, you know, try to remain positive and have vibrational. We have, wow, oof, 15, break down to a six. Some of y'all, it's time for you to be in this. You see she riding that boat. It's time for you to get in that six of swords and move forward to calmer water. Also, I feel like it's time for you to... Tap into your sensuality. I don't know why I'm getting that, but you see this woman wearing this red dress and how it's flowing. Red on my channel, I used to say it all the time. Red stands for power, passion, and protection. It is also, first and foremost, the blood of Jesus, so it signifies covering, protection. So, like, look, it may be time for you to step into your little sensuality. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> somebody may have, like, a little adventurous side. But you may need to tap into again. I really feel like this right here. This six is like the six of swords. There's a boat here, and she's on water. Those waters is calm, and it's like that lightning is like that lantern. That light right there is like a guide. You're being guided, okay? Red, you could be getting guided by spirit, Jesus, okay? They could be protecting you, guiding you. There could be definitely a need for you to let your hair down some, you know, maybe <laughs> tap into your sensual side with that red dress on. Indigo and Crystal Children, Archangel Metatron. It said you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are, oh, let me see, this, sensitive. So you could be someone, maybe you're meant to write children's book. Some of y'all, maybe you meant to work with children. Or some of y'all, you already work with children. Or this can also be symbolic of if you have not had the best relationship with your children, that could be about to balance out as well. So it could be some type of reconciliation with children or you're coming together with children or something like that, okay? Or literally, you could work with children. Or this could be your calling for some of y'all. This could be your north node to work with children. It may be by way of, you know, um, counseling, mentorship or something like that, youth counselor or something like that. That could be be you know your calling 
Mm. We have compassion. Archangel Zachiel, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Mm. So there's a need for you again. Let's see. This card is saying tap into your sensuality. There's also a need to open up your heart chakra. This card is a whole bunch of orange. So that's your sacred chakra, which is your sexual, sexual energy. Like I said, back to here, sensuality. So maybe in a relationship, there's a need for you to open up. Okay, there's a need for you to be vulnerable. There's a need for you to have faith in whatever situation you're dealing with right now. Again, somebody here also you're dealing with may need your compassion at this time, your loving energy. Okay, it, it, might, it might be much needed in a particular situation, whether it's love, family, or a friend, okay? We have cycles, number six again. So there is some cycles closing out. You see that beautiful little golden coin in the back? It looks like it has a four leaf clover, like a clover right here. And it's like, like, like a star, like the point of a star or a dagger or something like that. It's like swords. So it could be some type of luck happening. It could be a change of luck. The wheel could be turning in your favor, okay? Mm. You definitely are about to or you're in the process. The same thing of closing out some type of major cycles in your life. You see this woman's face? This woman's face look perplexed. She look kind of sad as well. So it could be a very negative cycle or maybe a cycle of you being down, sad, or things not going your way, okay? And it's falling up on the dream. So definitely something's about to change with your goals, your manifestation. And some of y'all, this is going to be... Um, by you getting involved with children in some way, shape, or form, or you mending your relationship with children. Also, there could be someone in your life, again, a family uh, a family member, friend, lover, maybe even your own child who may need your compassion and love and nurturing energy right now, okay? Oh, that's too many. But we do have beloved one, Archangel Camiel. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. So this could be love. You may be with a lover. There's a lot of blue in here, throat chakra. Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is Leo energy. Um, also, I always see him as that Gemini card, the king of swords. So this could be like an air sign, or you could be an air sign, or you could be a Leo. Somebody may need your compassion. You could be dealing with this person, okay? You may have Leo or Gemini highly aspected in your chart if that's not your sun sign, okay? You definitely may, you know, there's somebody around you. Some of y'all is definitely a soulmate, um, like as far as like uh, romantic uh, wise. Soulmate could be your child, your family, your friend, whatever. Whatever. We have many soulmates, okay? So definitely somebody here needs your compassion, loving, nurturing energy right now. And for a lot of y'all, it could be a relationship, okay? It says self-sabotage, okay? Number two, that could be someone, you know, and you're in a partnership with, they could be sabotaging the partnership, or maybe you even could be, could have been sabotaged, but I don't feel like it's you. I feel like someone you're dealing with, family member, friend, lover, whoever, it's because they may have attachments to that too. That's another tool, because it's like a soulmate card, right? There is someone here who could have been sabotaging a particular situation, and it's, I never paid attention to that. It's like, you see this candle right here in this woman's hand? It's in her right hand to be exact. So that's near, that's near the future. It's like somebody light has been put out. You see that candle is out. It's smoking, right? It's like whatever's attached to this person, it done snuffed out their light. This person may really new, need to do like some deep shadow work, some healing, okay? To remove these, you know, entities, whatever these attachments is. And I feel like they about to be free because you see that white bird in the corner i don't know for some reason they look like an owl or an eagle so somebody could be very wise somebody could have some some type of wisdom or knowledge okay or positive energy they have not tapped into yet because whatever these entities is is blocking it you see again somebody their candle was out it's like the smoke it's like somebody light has been snuffed out so it causes them to self-sabotage somebody could be in a very dark place right now and they may really need your advice Again, your love and healing energy. We have take back your power. Archangel Raziel, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, so again... What you want is coming towards you. What you want is coming directly towards you. Y'all going to meet each other in the middle, okay? 14, number five, there's a change with, a, again, we done seen soulmate three times. There's definitely some type of change with a soulmate relationship. Somebody here could be a masculine energy, whether man or woman, they may feel invisible. 
And the way he's holding on to this person, it's like this person love you, but somebody here, literally, they could be lost. Somebody could really be lost within their soul. But I feel like there's a change coming because, look, there's a light right there in them clouds right there. Something is going to change, okay, with this particular situation. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you're in a relationship and you're, you want to give up on it because somebody could be toxic, somebody could be depressed, somebody, you know, somebody could be sabotaging the relationship. For some of y'all, I don't say this lightly, it, it definitely could be unintentional. Somebody may have a lot of deep, dark secrets. Somebody really may need to do like some healing work. Okay, we have 35 here, home. That breaks down to an eight. Somebody really need to work on their self. Somebody really need to do some type of introspection to come home to their self, okay? This is someone who needs to look in the mirror and, and do some healing work, okay? We have love, 28, a number 10. So this is a completion or something is changing or ending. And um, a certain aspect of a relationship is ending. Something is changing. It's a completion here. And look at this man again. He's sad. So somebody here, it could be a masculine that is going through a lot of changes right now. They could be in a process of trying to take their power back, okay? This is what you can look forward to. Spiritual understanding. Look what flew out when I said that. Archangel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truth. This could be someone who's going through a spiritual awakening. It could be scaring them. They may be seeing symbols, signs. They may be dreaming. They may be experiencing a lot of things that's really scaring them. This could be a person. Their light has been snuffed out for a long time. So they walked around, they walking around like a put out candle, like this darkness all around this person or maybe within this person. Okay. It says sensitivity, Archangel Haniel. Um, that's, that's, um, Pisces energy. It says you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now under yourself and your feelings. This could be someone who's very sensitive to energy right now. Cause they going through some type of metamorphosis. They are going through some type of dark night of the soul some type of change okay this person could be very huh, fickle with you okay yeah fickle that's what i'm getting fickle somebody could be like hot and cold with you and i seriously feel like it's unintentional like they're not trying to be this way but it's just happening sexuality number four again i told you somebody here may need to tap into their sensuality you know somebody may find you very attractive but it's like it's hard for them to open their heart I'm going to say that again. Somebody may have extreme passion and chemistry for you, but it's really hard for this person to open their heart. I need you to understand that this person is blocked. They have something attached to them. That candle, again, is, is burning, but it's like, look, it, ain't, it don't even like it burnt down that far. It's like somebody put this person light out, or this person light, again, has been out a long time. Maybe even since a child. This person could also be some type of indigo crystal child. This could be an adult masculine who's just not stepping into their power. They're going through some type of change, some type of awakening, and they're, they need your compassion right now. They don't, they don't need another person who is criticizing them, judging them. They need compassion loving energy right now to help them get through these changes we have clairsentience this person could be clairsentience archangel raguel notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance this person could be going through a lot emotionally okay and they may not be telling you but they showing it and if you're in tune you probably feel it okay it says unleash your creativity back to you it could be something about you writing a book or hell this here whatever you're going through may be the grounds or the foundation for a book that's going to help a lot of people okay 26 letting go number eight okay another eight this person is in the process of really trying to let go of some things and look at this shit here look there's another look at this there's another thing back there and they have a candle in their hand it's like some Somebody is doing work over somebody that you're dealing with. They want to keep this person sad, but there's a fire that's about to change. Somebody is doing work on someone that you're dealing with. I feel like this is strongly a relationship. Somebody is doing work on someone you're dealing with. They want this person to remain sad. Look, they want this person to remain broken. This person has a hole in their heart. Somebody wants somebody sad, hurt, broke down. Okay, they want this person to sabotage. They don't want this person. You see, that's a one on him. They, that's, that to me stands for individuality. 
okay? One, you only by yourself, uno numero, only one, right? This person doesn't want this masculine to step into their individuality. They want to keep this person heartbroken. They want this person to be sad. They want this person to con con like continuously self-sabotage. And that ain't this person's calling. That's not this person's path because literally they could be some type of indigo child, okay? We have... Pay attention to signs. Number 10, again, okay? Somebody here really could be getting a lot of synchronicities and signs. Somebody, I don't talk about this a lot, but you see them signs right there and there? Do you see how the way their shape is? Somebody could see a lot of sacred geometry in their dreams. They may say sim see symbols everywhere, and this could be scaring this person because they don't understand. They don't know what's going on. That's why they need you to, this. okay, how? Move on back. Try it again. That's why there's a need for you to be sensitive with this person, sensitive to their energy, sensitive to their emotion, and compassionate with this person. Somebody's going through a huge change, okay? A very huge change. We got how teachable are you, okay? This is a big lesson for this person. Number nine could be significant here. We also have hole in the soul. See, somebody wants this person void, empty. They don't want this person to mature. They don't want this person to heal. They don't want this person to be happy. They actually want this person broken because it benefits them in some way, shape, or form. Whoever this is, where that car go, I need to find that motherfucker. Whoever this is, and this look like a graveyard or something behind. So whoever this is right here, this darkness, this shadow, and they got that candle. Whoever this is doing work on this person, I really feel like they're going to strongly regret this, okay? Because once this mask can step into their power, look, 21, 3, 3 of swords. Somebody's healing. Somebody's right now currently present time actively healing their heart chakra they're going through a change and this here is could be like pissing somebody off who's doing work on them temptation number 10 see this person is healing this person is learning how to be strong they're not falling for temptation anymore this person who's doing work on this person on this masculine energy man or woman i feel more that's a man whoever's doing work on this person it could be family friend a lover whatever it is they want this person to constantly be in the energy where they're easily tempted by you know maybe flesh Okay, they don't want this person to have any type of spiritual depth. They don't want this person to come in tune with their soul. They don't want this person to be a better person than what they are. They want this person to remain toxic, to remain kind of karmic. Okay, they want this person to remain lost. But see, 19, again, break down to a 10. That's changing. The temptation is not long going to be a temptation. We have clairvoyance here. Archangel Raziel, I am helping you with your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. I told you. There's a masculine possibly going through. Look, they're learning how to love their self. Wow. Look, 13. But I tell you, they rejecting shit. So whatever this is, whoever doing work on your person, they're no longer tempted by this person. Whether it be a family member getting their ear, whether it be a friend, a co-worker, whether it be a cousin, whether it be a third party, whoever it is, they're no longer tempted by this person. They're rejecting this thing, this entity, this person, they're rejecting it. Claire Cognizant. Oh, this person could really be psychic. Whoever this masculine they literally can be a psychic or something claire cognis archangel uriah that's my archangel because i'm an aquarius so this aquarius energy pay attention to the thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers also this is for you my writer i'm talking to also the person who may wind up working with kids or you may wind up writing a children book or for some of y'all somebody's going to turn their pain into power this person may open up to you about their childhood or something that happened to them y'all may use this again as a foundation to write a book and it really may be like very successful it may help a lot of people as well okay mm. look career transition archangel camuel archangel camuel came out twice okay that's the angel of love it said your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change so some of y'all you literally could be about to make a career change and it could be right if it's not right, it could be working with children, meant to a children. Also, somebody opening up to you about something that may have happened to them, or, or some type of entity or a pain they've been carrying. This also may inspire you to write a book. Like somebody's going to be your inspiration and you there. How am I say this? You, okay. This person is going to be your inspiration by telling their story. And you're going to be their savior by putting it out to help others. You understand that? That's very, that's a, that's a powerful thing right there, right? Healthy lifestyle, Archangel Raphael, eat a healthful diet, um, get adequate sleep, 
and exercise regularly for optimal health. This person could also be changing their eating habits, their diet. Look, 37 entrapment. This person has been feeling trapped and, and it has kept them in this prideful energy. You see this two faces like they show up to the world as this person, but in, in reality, they're, they're dead in the inside or feel dead in the inside and they hide a lot of things. Okay. This is somebody here. That skull gives me like transformation, like uh, Scorpio, Pluto energy, like somebody is really changing outdoors let's say archangel jaffia go outside get some fresh air and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas so for my writer here or you may be experiencing some type of creative block whatever you do don't have to be writing there's a need for you to get outside okay What's up under here? Divine Order, Archangel Raguel. That's the second time he done came out as well. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusions and see the underlying order. That's why somebody, that's why somebody, you need to hear this. Like, you need to have compassion for somebody. You don't, I don't even think you can even fathom what this person is going through emotionally and internally you also see the scales i am balanced on this card but you see that hand it's like that angel is about to pull those scales even so somebody is balancing out their masculine and feminine energy right now somebody is really going through a lot all the universe is actually right now to be patient with this person okay archangel jaffiel that is Libra. It says your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So you need patience right now. You just need to be patient, rather. And you need to just nurture this person. You know, like, I promise you, I feel like in the end, it's going to be worth it. Breathe. Somebody here may need to start uh, practicing breathing exercise. Hello from heaven. Yeah, this person is being uh, lifted up. Okay, this person is really being lifted up from some type of damnation, chakra clean. Then I tell you, somebody going through some healing, I promise they are. Okay, prioritize. There's a need for someone to get their priorities in order. I feel like that's this person. Okay, they're literally being lifted up. Chakra clearing. Let me read that. Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometry shapes. Ain't that something? Didn't I fucking just say that? Then I say that this person could be seeing that, but because they're not spiritual or they don't understand esoteric knowledge, this could be freaking this person out. They don't understand what the fuck is this they going through. They're going through some type of metamorph. They're going through some type of spiritual awakening. They're being lifted up. Okay. Let's read this too. It's like Archangel Azrael, the deaf angel. It said your loved one in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So also this person could be grieving somebody too that they miss. You know, sometimes people leave this world that was the most important person to you. And a lot of people, you know, they never get over it. And some people, they learn to deal with it. Okay, but they never forget that person. This person could also be grieving someone they miss. This could be some type of ancestor, matriarch, patriarch, an older person, maybe grandma, grandfather, you know, mother, father, whoever. But they definitely could be missing someone right now. What is this? This is coming apart right here. What is these? Procrastination. Eight, it's time for somebody to get moving. Family and tribe. This person is healing so they can have this family with you. So y'all can come together. It says, say what you mean, okay? This is also someone who needs to speak their truth. 29, discover your life purpose. Like I said, if you are in a situation like this, what I'm explaining right here, there's is going to be some type of discovery on both ends. They're going to turn their pain into power and passion. They're going to use it to help others. They're going to inspire you and you're going to help them by putting a story out there, probably in the form of a book. Like somebody could have went through some things too. I mean, like a lot. And they've never talked to anybody about that. We got twin and had 11. For some of y'all, this could be your divine counterpart that, you know, the universe is asking you to be compassionate with. It say, all is well, Archangel Jeremiah. Everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. So there's hidden blessings in this relationship that's coming. The energy between you and this person is about to balance out. Literally, Archangel Raguel, is, it look, balancing them scared. You see it? His or her hand is right there, pulling them scales, about to even out them scales. So there's balance happening around the situation. All you need to do again is be patient. Things are going to balance itself out. All right, y'all know how we do. Let's get a couple of signs. All right, you them. We have Leo. I definitely call Archangel Michael. I they first called out Leo. You could be a Leo. They could be a Leo. Somebody can have Leo in their chart, okay? 
we have Venus love. I always look at this as true love. This is like an ace of cups to me, okay? Venus, uh, Taurus is second house, house of stability. Libra is seventh house. How so your plus one, cosmic plus relationships, love, you know, erotic energy, chemistry, all that good stuff, just like Mars. So definitely this could be some type of true love. And they go Libra. Then I call out Libra. They go Libra and Taurus. And then Leo. I call Libra and Leo out. We have Jupiter, Pisces, Sagittarius. So fortune, good luck. Okay, that's good luck. There you go right there. Look, <laughs> we got the sun, Venus, and Jupiter. There is a whole bunch of beautiful energy around a relationship. It could be your cosmic plus one. This could be your person, right? There is good energy happening. They got the, You got the sun and then Jupiter. That's just like the sun. Again, the planet of blessings, expansion, luck, beauty as well. Leo, too. You know, Leo's exude beauty, okay? The passion, the strong. Okay, so there's a change happening with a particular relationship. They go Gemini. Then I call them, okay? Give me three more, please, and thank you, them. I just talk about that. They go Mars, Aries, Scorpio. I think I mentioned Scorpio as well. So there's a situation between you and a person. Then we have Uranus, also called Aquarius. Okay, so the planet of innovation, Trendsetter leadership. This may be the first of uh, the book. Whatever y'all about to do with this person, y'all gonna be the first people to do this. And let me explain. Even if you're writing a book, whatever you're about to do with this book, it's gonna be something that hit different. Your book gonna fly off the shelf. You understand what I'm saying? Your book is gonna be purposeful. That's why. Okay. So how many we got? Two, four, six, one more. And we have Mercury, Gemini again, Virgo. All right. Damn, I dropped that boy. <laughs> now, let's get a couple of ages and numbers to close this. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Hey. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Hey. This relationship is about to take such a positive twist and turn. It's going to blow your mind. Okay? Okay? First of all, let's, let's just read that. Nah, nah. Good luck. Hold on. Let's read that. 777. 777 could be significant, okay? It says contentment, prosperity, abundance, spiritual awakening, divine intervention. That's that twist. I swear, I just thought, who made this? And that's old too. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist, A hey, And go like this. <laughs> that's what I'm hearing, all right? This message is most likely to reach you during an intense uncertainty wow you'll come out winning from everything that may come your way it's also a sign that you have much life experience and wisdom to share wow okay wow yet you will need enthusiasm and effort to get this message to other this person needs your encouragement your compassion because you're you are meant in some way shape or form to get this person message to others it's something about whatever this person is about to reveal to you whatever this healing is they're going through whatever it is y'all about to bring this to the world in a creative way but it's going to help others wow and look at that Look at that. Unique skills. 1441, which is actually 55. Fives is changing. 55, that's 10. Completion. All right. All right. Unique skills. Life goals, missions, sense of self, honesty, important projects. You and this person got an important project to do. Either you and this person going to write a book or a series of books, or you and this person, because of their childhood wounded, is going to inspire them to maybe be of service to especially children. Not just other people, but it's specifically children. Y'all may about to be y'all may be about to do something with children, okay, on y'all career path. It's a blessed career change. So this could be something that's about to change. Maybe both of y'all work a nine to five, or maybe uh y'all do something for y'all self, whatever, the entrepreneurship, whatever it is, y'all about to change careers that could have something to do with working with children here, okay? Life goal, mission, sense of self, honesty, important projects. It's the time, excuse me, it's that time of intense self-development. That's what this person is going through. Focus your mind on your craft. You, whoever I'm talking to, okay? It says you already have what it takes to succeed, but practice makes you a master. Ooh-wee, okay? It also serves to find your true purpose. This is. Some of y'all, your life purpose is working with children. You may already do this. 
Okay, leveling up in your career or business is a priority right now. That's exactly what's happening. As this person go through these changes, there is going to be some type of level up in your career, your business endeavors, and it's going to be with your partner. This person literally could be your divine counterpart. You may have came into this person's life to help them heal. To remove blockages that cause them to self-sabotage. But they literally, I don't know who this is in this person's life. I really don't. I, I'm not going to lie to you. But whoever this is, it could be a family member, friend, whoever. That also could be a third party. But this is someone, you see them, they got that light. That's, they burning candles. And look, they by a grade. They're like a cross or something. Somebody don't want this person to heal. Somebody don't want this person to change. Somebody don't want this person to grow up. They don't want this person to find peace. I find that very disturbing and fucking sad at the same fucking time. Ooh, we I don't know who messaged you, but baby, it's gonna be all right. Peace.